Hi, and welcome to part three of this instructional series on PowerPoint 2007. In this part, we're going to talk about what is perhaps the most recognizable feature of all PowerPoints, and that is the bullet list. As they say, PowerPoints don't kill, the bullet lists do. Talking about the bullet list also gives us a chance to bring up one of the golden rules of PowerPoint presentation that a lot of designers go by, at least in a general sense. And that rule is the 6 by 6 rule, which simply means that you want to try to limit your bullet list to 6 bullets and never more than 6 words per bullet. Again, let's remember, this is a guideline, not a felony. The PowerPoint police are not going to kick down your door for using the seventh bullet. But the 6 by 6 rule does give us a chance to talk about a very important principle. And that is that PowerPoint is a visual communication medium, not a textual medium. Many of the criticisms of PowerPoint, much of the derision of PowerPoint, and indeed many of the poor PowerPoint presentations that we've all been subject to, come from the confusion of these two realms, the visual realm and the textual realm. Textual literacy and visual literacy go by very different rules. And the outcome of trying to use a single tool, like PowerPoint, to do both jobs results in something that is as predictably unsatisfactory as it is difficult to sit through. So one of the purposes of the 6 by 6 rule is to keep the designer from putting too much text on the slide and thus violating the rules of visual literacy by trying to use textual literacy to convey the point. The PowerPoint presentation should be seen as a visual accompaniment of a verbal text. The designers of Microsoft PowerPoint 2007 clearly understood this problem that occurs whenever visual literacy and textual literacy are attempted to be combined on a single slide. And so they've come up with some truly innovative tools to help us keep our PowerPoints in the visual realm. Before we take a look at some of these new and innovative tools, let's first play a clip from the sample PowerPoint presentation that we will be trying to recreate. Features of this new language that we educators must learn? They're not hard to guess, and they offer striking contrast to the traditional notions of literacy. This new language is multimodal. Spoken and written words provide only two pathways to meaning. The new literacy also relies on sounds, music, still images, and full motion video to convey a message. And because it is multimodal, this language is also multi-layered. Our new multimedia texts contain powerful and rich nonverbal meanings, which are derived from images, film, music, photography, drawing, and animation, all of which give these texts a potential impact beyond what is possible through traditional language. This language is also modular. In other words, the message consists of distinct pieces or chunks. Okay, let's go back to our presentation and try to duplicate what we just saw. The first thing we'll want to do is to duplicate one of our inside slides since we aren't using masters. There are two ways to do this. The first one is to select the slide you wish to duplicate, in this case number two, Go up to the Homes tab, click, and then go down to the Slides group. In the Slides group, click on New Slide and pull down all the way to the bottom where it says Duplicate Slide. And that will automatically duplicate the slide that you have selected. The second way and the easiest way to duplicate a slide is to simply select it and then type Control D and then the slide will be automatically duplicated directly below the one that you selected. Then it's a simple matter of going to the duplicated slide and selecting all of the elements that you wish to remove. 
leaving behind the formatted elements that are going to be repeated on each of the inside slides. There are three ways to create bullet lists in PowerPoint 2007. The old way, the new way, and a combination of custom and the new way. To create bullets the old way, you simply enter in your text box and then inside that text box type the text that you wish to put into your bullet list. Once that text is in, you highlight it and go to the insert bullets command that is very familiar, as are these bullet options. There is still the option to use a picture as a bullet and then you can also choose from a variety of custom bullets that are available in all of the fonts that are installed upon your machine. You simply click upon one of the symbols from one of the fonts that you wish to use, click OK, and then insert into your bullet list. That's the old way. Let's uh, delete these and try the new way, which is to go up to Insert, and then after clicking on insert, click on Smart Art. And you will have revealed to you 80 different options that will allow you to give more meaning and clarity to your bullet list. The designers of Microsoft PowerPoint 2007 have taken the remarkable step of saying, we wish to go from linear bullet list to a series of diagrams, the shapes and orders and colors of which can be used to show the relationship between the ideas of the information. Ladies and gentlemen, the bullet list is essentially dead and has been replaced by the visual diagramming of PowerPoint 2007.